Hi, my name is Ram and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make your 3D prints stronger using titanium rods such as these. This sounds like a fancy technique but it's actually pretty simple and cheap. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know in order to do it in your own projects. Our case study for this technique is gonna be this organizer project that I designed a few days ago. I figured I have too much of a mess on my desk, I have too many things, so I'm gonna put all of them in an organizer stacked up on top of each other on the same amount of space. If you've ever done any 3D printing before, you're looking at this uh, and you're thinking, did he just print these legs vertically? And the answer is yes, I did. And your next question is, wouldn't these legs be super weak because they are printed perpendicular to the layers? And the answer is it would be, except that the titanium is making them stronger. I've embedded the titanium rod inside that leg. And if you look closely with a flashlight, you can see it as a sort of skeleton inside the plastic. To demonstrate, I printed another copy of this blue leg, this time in red, and this time without the titanium reinforcement. The reinforced part can take a lot of pressure, but the one that isn't breaks easily. Okay, I've had fun showing off, and I will show you how to use this technique in your projects. This is a three-step process. Step number one is buy the titanium rods. Step number two is add a tunnel to your designs. And step number three is insert the titanium rod into your printed part. Let's start with step number one, buying the rods. Titanium rods are surprisingly cheap. I bought mine on eBay. Make sure you buy grade five. They've got two millimeter rods, three millimeter, four millimeter, all for a few dollars. This one has 40 pieces for just $32. So that's cheap enough to not even think about. I got myself an entire collection of rods in different sizes for different projects. These uh, thick ones are 7 millimeters in diameter. I got carbon fiber rods for the more lightweight projects. And I've got aluminum rods which are easier to tap than uh, titanium and are cheaper. We got the rods so we're done with step 1. Let's go on to step 2, adding the tunnels to the part. Find the places in your model that you would like to reinforce and sketch a circle on them. Getting the right size is tricky. You want something just wide enough to be able to push the rod through, but just snug enough for it to be stuck in there tightly without having to use glue. I'm using 3mm rods for this project and I found that 3.6 is the ideal hole size. Find any other places you would like to reinforce and sketch the same circle on them. When you're done, do a cut. In this case, I'm gonna go with through all. And now we have a nice tunnel that goes from one end of the model to the other. Let's look at the cross section. Looks good. Let's print. We got the part printed out, so that's it for step two. Now for step three, inserting the rod into the part. That's trickier than it sounds because we're gonna have to cut it first. I'm gonna use this bolt cutter and most importantly, this face shield. And I'm gonna use a couple of vices. Sometimes I work with uh, thicker rods such as this one, in which case I have to use this bolt cutter. But that's for another video. First, I'll take a measurement of the rod length. I could get an accurate measurement from SolidWorks, but I'm just gonna wing it this time. I'm gonna use this heavy duty pin vise to hold the rod so it wouldn't fly off when I cut it. And I'm gonna put a jeweler's vise on the other end. I'm gonna include links to buy all of these tools in the video description, including the two bolt cutters. Size is looking good. Let's cut a couple more of these. Don't forget to wear your face shield the entire time that you're cutting, because titanium isn't good for your eyes. If you want to be extra careful, you can also wear gloves. I actually cut myself earlier when I was breaking that red piece of plastic with my hands, 
that wouldn't have happened if I was wearing gloves. And we're done cutting. Let's put the rods into the print. I'm going to use this pin vise with another rod to push the first rod all the way in. Okay, two out of three. Okay, we're done. Now for the final assembly. And we have an organizer. I've used this technique in a lot of different projects over the years. Okay, I know this picture looks bad. I have an AC with a filter hatch that really doesn't want to stay closed, so I built this thing to force it closed. I used 8mm titanium rods for it. This is a jig that I made for cutting aluminum extrusions using a saw. The two screws would have easily broken through the plastic if I hadn't used two titanium rods to disperse the pressure throughout the entire piece. I hope this technique would be useful to you. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.